In this video, we're gonna be talking about Google's Postmaster tools. Now, why do we use Postmaster tools? Well, we wanna look and see how does Gmail essentially see our reputation for our sending domain, for our IP address, and just the emails in general. How do we go check and see how is this essentially being seen by Gmail? And why might they be putting us into the spam folder or into the promos folder. Now, before you watch this, you're going to want to check my other video, which talks about the eight different factors that are affecting your email deliverability. Uh, you're going to want to watch that first because that leads into this, e uh, into this video. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and dive into Postmaster tools and take a look at our reputation and see how Gmail looks at our email. Let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so once you're on Postmaster Tools, uh, you're just gonna go ahead and get started. It may have you like connect your account or your Gmail account or whatnot, so just keep that in mind. And then once you're in, it'll probably have no domains unless you've already done this before. So in that case, you have to go to the bottom right here and then add your domain. Now, for this uh, domain, it is gonna guide you through some steps on doing that. So I'll go ahead and just add a domain in here for now, just so you can kind of see how the process works. All right, so now once I have the domain, it's gonna want you to take this record and you have to add that to uh, essentially the DNS records of wherever they're managed for your domain name. So that might be with GoDaddy or it might be with whoever's managing your domain. Uh, so you're gonna wanna know that, not just managing your domain, but the DNS for the domain, okay? That's what's important. In my case, I have Cloudflare uh, managing DNS. So essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the DNS records for that domain, and then I'm gonna take that record that they gave me, which is a text record. Oops. I'm gonna put it in here. Oops, there we go put in the content, put that as a root domain, and then I'm gonna save that. And then what's gonna happen now is this is just kind of basically verifying that you actually own and have control over the domain. So I'm gonna to click to verify that, and then it will basically add it. Okay, so now it's verified. So you have to do that uh, first. Now, once I go in the domain, so let me see if I can Okay, I do see it, great. So I'm able to see some, some back history here. Okay, so this domain we don't really email from, but we did run a couple campaigns. And the thing is we hadn't emailed for a while, so they might've forgot who we are. So this could be a good kind of example of a typical thing you might see with your domain and the reputation. So up here, you're gonna have all the different things that you can check, starting with spam rate. So you can see here, uh, this is right when we sent out that campaign. We had, ooh, not good, right? Up to a 0.4. Uh, so that's four people out of 4,000 emails or less, you know, but it's basically one out of 1,000 uh, reported it as spam through Gmail alone. That doesn't include the other providers. So you can see here, that's not a good thing and that might have affected our reputation. So let's just kind of make a note that that happened here uh, on February 22nd and 23rd, all right? And you can see here, we don't email very often too. You're gonna to notice that. So when you don't email a lot, that can have negative effects because you're not uh, giving enough opportunity to build your reputation, all right? Because you're just going every once in a while and that's not good to be inconsistent. Let's take a look at the IP reputation. So we are using a shared IP address and that is high. So that's generally gonna be the case. If you see this any other way, low, medium, bad, contact whoever your email provider is for your marketing, uh, for your email marketing that you're sending out and ask them to switch you to a different IP if that's at all possible, okay? Or you may have to uh, change services. Now we'll look at domain reputation. This is gonna be interesting. So even though we had those spam reports, uh, we still have a very high reputation on the domain and we did not lose it. So that could be because generally our emails are very specific. It is a very small audience. And so they recognize the weekly accelerator name. And so even though we had that incident with that email, um, we did not have a hit there. So that's good. And I'm gonna show you another domain that has its up and down so I can so you can see what that looks like. 
Uh, and then we won't really get into the other things as far as feedback loop. This just goes back into the, uh, the spam stuff and then authentication. This actually could be helpful because this is gonna tell you if you're having issues with your SPF records or DKM records and things like that. So you can see here, I've got a 0% DMARC and that's probably because DMARC hasn't been set up on this domain yet. So that's something we're gonna take care of. And then for some reason it's showing that the uh, SPF record was failing on the 13th. So I'm not sure why that is. That's something that I wanna go investigate um, and see if that's still failing or is there some reason with the DNS records or did something change that's causing that SPF record uh, or SPF to change or fail, should I say. And then delivery errors, this actually is good to know because if you're getting a lot of um, you know, bounce mails and things like that, you're gonna wanna know that here. So now let's look at another domain. Uh, this is a domain we use for a lot of our marketing. So let me go look at that one. Uh, let's do this one. This is new. This is a new domain. We just kind of started building. So this is gonna be kind of all off the charts here, but just to give you an idea, maybe what you might be seeing. So again, we're gonna look at spam rates. Wow, look at that. Okay, we're all over the place here. Huge, huge spam rate here, which, you know, I don't know why, because all these people opted in. So what this tells me is I'm not doing a good enough job on this new domain when they first opt in to basically send those initial emails quickly enough. Um, I think what happens is they opt in, they get emails from one domain, and then they're added to the nurture list, which are going from another domain. And maybe that could uh, be a, and maybe there's too much time between. So by seeing something like this, really off and really high spam rates, especially for people who are recently subscribed, that tells me that that kind of uh, introductory introduction email sequence is not uh, basically linking together, right? So that is something we need to look at. Huge, horrible, right? So this is gonna affect, when you have stuff like that, it's probably gonna affect the, the reputation. Let's take a look at the reputation. All right, so you can kind of see here uh, in line with those spam rates, we had a high reputation for the domain and then it started dropping and dropped to bad, right? So this domain is likely gonna have its emails going into either spam or the promotions folder. All right, so you can see here, high, 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 then it dropped to low, then to bad, then to, and it's uh, going up again. So we actually have already started taking steps uh, because of that to uh, revive this domain and get it back going again. Again, this is a new one, just started using it. Um, yeah, so there we go there. And then let me see, we got domain reputation, delivery errors, see if we have anything there. Oh yeah, look at that. That something happened there on the 13th um, that caused that high delivery rate. So that's gonna affect it. And then we've got uh, authentication. Let's look at that. And we've got our DMARC. So that looks like that was resolved in February. DKM looks good. Uh, everything else looks uh, looks like it's all good. So the DMARC, the SPF, DKIM is all good on this. They're all succeeding but there's some issues in the other way. So now I could go look and go deeper and see what happened here. What Maybe why did those emails bounce or maybe was there a bad list it was sent to or whatever the case may be with this domain name, all right? But just because it has that bad reputation doesn't mean it's lost forever, okay? So it's really about going in, resolving those issues and rebuilding that reputation by sending out some more value emails maybe cleaning out the list of uh, going through your email provider and deleting or unsubscribing or removing people who may have reported a spam, which a lot of times that's done automatically. And then essentially kind of maybe focusing, even just not even sending the people who haven't opened anything in the last 90 days or 120 days, maybe removing them from this list or unsubscribing them just to clean it up just because we need to kind of repair the list and essentially get the email back again. So the way I would do it is I would segment those non-openers over 90 days and kind of segment them as like, okay, these guys haven't opened for 90 days or, and then I might go ahead and focus my emails on the 30 day people, right? The people who have opened, they're going to be more recognizing of the emails and then maybe expand that. And depending what that looks like, if my open rates are good and I kind of start seeing my reputation going up, then I can expand and start kind of including those 60 day openers, those 90 day openers, and then maybe even going beyond that just to see what's there. 
and then essentially kind of taking that data as my reputation gets better and then kind of moving on from there, right? Uh, and that, that's the plan to kind of re, uh, repair this domain reputation. And again, trying to do that with some value emails, some uh, maybe conversational emails, maybe trying to spark conversation. And yeah, you know, we'll put, obviously we have to put some call to action emails in there as well, just because that's how we make our money, but that's the plan. So that is all. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.